Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com. It's still Wednesday, 2022. Happy Wednesday. Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box. Pick your team eight coming at you. All card ship right there. Really nice stuff. A lot of prospect hunting. Some rookie hunting as well, but mostly prospects for Bowman. Big thanks everyone here for making this happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spot straight up. Got a little rooftop next to your name. That means you won that spot in the team random that we did. Andy ended up with the last spot Mojo Star next to his name with the twins. He bought twins before the, the remaining teams were pulled. All right, let's pop this case open. Let's see what we got here. Empty box of that Bowman Chrome. Actually, out of our inventory system. All right. There it is. Thank you. Good luck. Doing all 12 boxes. It's going to take us a little bit of time. It'll take us about an hour. Maybe a shade under. Hang in there. Settle in. Just the list one more time. Keep that right there. One autograph per mini box. Obviously the rookie cards that we're chasing, Julio Rodriguez, Wander Franco, Bobby Witt, Jeremy Pena, O'Neill Cruz, Spencer Torkelson. And then some of the prospects we're looking at is Christian Vaccaro, Roderick Arias, uh, Jason Curio, or Churio, Yasser Mercedes, Yankel Fernandez, and Jackson Merrill. Try to pull those base cards aside. Obviously, the parallels will be easier to spot, but if I happen to miss any of those players, don't worry. Our shipping team has instructions to uh, to pull those players and make sure that they're sleeved up at the very least. All numbered cards are always top loaded. Whether it's by me or by by our sorting crew. All right, here's the first one. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! Thank you for all of your support of Jaspies this year. We appreciate it. And all cards, obviously, will ship. All right, there's the O'Neill Cruz. There's the Ankel Fernandez. Uh, Pirates, that's going to be for Chad. And the Rockies, that's going to be for Michael. One that in the uh, filler. And there's uh, Yasser Mercedes Twin. That's going to be for Andy. And the first autograph, Speckle Auto 299. Samuel Munoz for my Dodgers. Mark with the Dodgers. Inked with the Dodgers. I got to learn about this guy. Rated as number six prospect in the 2022 international class. All right. There's Max Muncy. 11 out of 250. Dodgers. Max Muncy. Uh, A's Max Muncy, that is. Same birthday, alleged. apparently. Same birthday. As someone was saying that earlier today, same birthday as Dodgers Max Muncy. Max Muncy was born on August 25th, 1990 in Midland, Texas. And, uh, and A's Max Muncy was born August 25th, 2002 in Camarillo, California, which is, I don't know, about in the valley, about an hour, hour and a half from us right here. In the South Bay. 
So w- w- 2002, which is still way too early, for because Max Muncy wasn't even in baseball until 2012 and didn't really break out in 2018. So those those Munsai were 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 operating independent of each other. 52 out of 199, Harry Ford, Seattle Mariners. That'll be for Ryan Heinz. You'll get all those Julio Rodriguez's as well. Rodriguez. It's Brady House. Take it to the house. Michael P. with the Nationals. That's going to go... It's not numbered. Michael with the Nets. Rex's oldest son. Born on August 25th, 2009. At a 499, Jordan Lawler. Has has he expressed uh, has he shown any aptitude for baseball? Because maybe that's the maybe that's the year. That's the date. Where uh, you're gonna be a ball player. I guess is he name is his name Max Muncie? Then I would almost guarantee that he'll be a professional ball player. Mark with the Diamondbacks, the spot that he won gets that Jordan Lawler refractor. Yeah, Michael wants the autograph. I mean, he's going to be a future ball player. August 25th, that's the magic number. I don't know if Baseball Reference has it. There must be a, a, a there must be a site that tracks the birth date of every player who ever played in Major League Baseball, right? Up to up to whenever accurate records were kept. But I wonder if you can plot plot data points and see the birthday that has produced the most major leaguers. That's got to exist somewhere, right? Maybe the Elias Stat Bureau. Maybe they, they, they have that information. George Kirby, rookie refractor to four ninety nine. That's for uh, Ryan and the M's. And there's Parker Shavers for EA and the Cubs. It's Bowman first on card autograph. Seventh round pick. And there's Ronald's brother, Luis Angel Acuna, 57 out of 99. Rangers, that's going to be for Dustin. On these shimmer cards are parallels, obviously, all card ship, but not numbered. And we got Willie Vasquez for Ed and the Rays. Ed picking up the Rays straight up. Number 10 prospect in the Rays system. And they've got a good farm system too. Bobby Wood Jr., Aqua Lava, 51 out of 99. I think they're Lavas, but real nice. Royals, John with Kansas City. Rookie Aqua. Next, what's the market for Michael's asking? What's the market for grade school autos on Thanksgiving hand tracings? Maybe yeah, maybe the Trout family is sitting on those. If it's Mike Trout, I bet there's a market for that. We could we could probably find a market for that.
got to be authenticated. Maybe even graded. Now I'm looking at the Wikipedia page for Max Muncie, 2002, born 2002. It's a first round pick, grew up in Camarillo, California, went to Thousand Oaks High School. Made the varsity baseball team as a freshman, hit for 382 and 13 extra base hits as a sophomore. As a senior, he batted 469, 45 hits, 49 RBIs, 11 home runs, 34 runs and only 28 games played. Named Baseball Player of the Year by the LA Times and the Los Angeles Daily News. He committed to play college ball at the University of Arkansas, but when he was selected 25th overall by the A's, he signed with the A's for a $2.85 million signing bonus. And he made his pro debut at the rookie level Arizona Complex. A's, only slash 129, 206, 129, but high school players will take a little bit of time. Single A, batted, improved to 230, 16 doubles, 16 home runs in 81 games before being promoted to high A. Wow, just moving through the organization pretty quickly. But his Wikipedia page, no, no info on his name. Surely he must have been interviewed somewhere about his name. There's Reed Detmers. And then someone would have put that in the Wikipedia page. Someone interview, the, someone interview those parents. And there's Luis Chevalier. That is for Ryan Hines and the Mariners. Yeah, only 460. I mean, even for high school, that's pretty good, right? There's Nelson Velasquez to 150. And there's another one of our guys that we're looking for. It's Jason Curio. Spencer Torkelson's going to John. Nasser Mercedes. And nice. Christian Vaquero, 234 out of 499 refractor autograph for Michael and the Nats. Got the Nats and the team random. And gets this guy right here. Rated as your number one prospect on Baseball America's bonus board in 2022. Checked in at number two on the MLB.com list. That's nice. Nicknamed the Phenomenon by Scouts. Natural lefty who learned to switch it after leaving uh, Cuba. Nice. Born in 2004, still pretty young, but you know, he, he may be called up before you know it. We got a refractor, Wilman Diaz, for the Dodgers. Mark with the Dodgers, 79 out of 149. Yeah, Rex is saying, imagine if there's something out there named Henry Owens or Taj Boy. There, I mean, Henry Owens, I feel like, that's a, that's a pretty common set of names. Uh, Max and Muncie. Like, Taj Boyd, yeah. I don't know how many Boyds are ended, end up named, being named Taj. You know? But how many, how many Muncies are out there? Sound like Smith. How many Muncies are out there? And then the decision to be like, yeah, let's go with Max. 
this applies? Not, I don't know. I don't know if I know any maxes. I, I don't think that's a super common name. Max Freed was born in Santa Monica, California. Is it a West Coast thing? No, but like Max Muncy, Dodgers Max Muncy is from Texas. So who knows? I guess someone will have to interview A's Max Muncy at some point and be like, how crazy is that coincidence? All right, there's O'Neill Cruz. Rookie cards going to Chad and the Pirates. I guess there's Max Scherzer. Right, Max Scherzer, St. Louis. I don't know. And... There's a nice orange auto for the Royals. Two out of 25, Daniel Vasquez. And that's John. John Deneen. Got randomized the Royals in the team random and ends up with the number 19 Royals prospect. Henry Davis to 250 for the Pirates. Another one for Chad to Betty. Julio Rodriguez rookie card for the Mariners. That'll be for Ryan Heinz. Who is, I don't know who Max Headroom is. Rex, who's Max Headroom? There's Ezekiel Tovar. Not sure where I slipped around. I know that's something that you sometimes want in a, uh, in a guitar amplifier. You want as much headroom as possible for... Uh, for the cleans, there is Edison Polino, Boston. That's going to be for Michael P. There is Urebiel, Urebiel Angeles, 474 out of 499, refractor for the A's, Dustin, and the Roderick Arias, Yankees, Dustin. Yeah, I don't, I do not know what a max headroom is. I remember uh, Max Powers, which was uh, Homer Simpson's alter ego in, uh, in The Simpsons. We got monogram Max Powers stuff. Yeah, there may be people watching the replay of this video now, hands on their heads being like, what? I'll Google it. Max Headroom, fictional character, is a fictional, wow, this Wikipedia page is huge. Why is it so huge? Is a fictional artificial intelligence character portrayed by actor Matt Frewer. Advertised as the first computer-generated TV presenter, Max was known for his biting commentary on a variety of topical issues, arrogant wit, stuttering, and pitch-shifting voice. The character was created by George Stone, Annabelle Yankel, and Rocky Morton. It was advertised as computer-generated, some believe this, but he was actually actor factor wearing prosthetic makeup, contact lenses, and a plastic molded suit and sitting in front of a blue screen. Harsh lighting and other editing and recording effects heighten the illusion of this of a CGI character. According to his creators, Max Persson was meant to be a satirical exaggeration of the worst tendencies of television hosts in the 80s who wanted to appeal to youth culture yet were not a part of it. 
Yeah, where did he... This is the first time I've heard of this person. Max Headroom debuted April 1985 on Channel 4 in the British-made cyberpunk TV movie Max Headroom, 20 Minutes into the Future. I feel like I've heard that title, 20 Minutes into the Future. Huh. There you go. That's that's what that's what Max Max Headroom does. Yeah, miss the Max Headroom boat. And this is Bryson Stott to one fifty. It's for the Phillies. That's gonna be for Michael P. Eminem has played, played him in his video, music videos, a couple times. Matt Olson for the Braves, Michael P. There's Roderick for the Yankees, that'll be for Dustin. Was he in Back to the Future as well? There's Michael Hernandez. Orioles, John. With the O's. Salvador Perez to 99 for the Royals. Back to the future in the diner. I guess I was busy watching uh, A Bit of Fry and Laurie. You guys remember that? A Bit of Fry and Laurie? It was Ellie Dela Cruz, 179 to 199. Nathaniel Smith. That was a sketch comedy show with Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie, who most know as Dr. House. We got Andy Thomas, Purple Chrome autograph, 243 out of 250. Mariners, that's going to be for Ryan. We'll do an auto recap at the end of this break, too. Pete Crow Armstrong, Speckle, 14 out of 299. It was Kirstie Alley doing a, a version of Max Headroom. I mean, he's got, he's got a whole popular, in popular, oh, sorry, camera. He's got a whole in popular culture section. Max Headroom has inspired many imitations and spoofs. Late Night with David Letterman, Max Headroom's U.S. television network debut, parodied the concept with their own character, Larry Bud Melman, in a sketch called Larry Bud Headroom. In the 80s, Gary Trudeau created the Ron Headrest for his political comment strip, Doonesbury. The character parodied Max Headroom and then U.S. President Ronald Reagan. Back to the Future 2 features a parody of Max and Reagan, a computer and computer-generated version of Michael Jackson and Ayatollah Khomeini as waiters in the fictitious Cafe 80s. In, in the Ernest Cline novel Ready Player One, protagonist Wade Watts has a Max Room Headroom AI in his Oasis account. A detail omitted from the film. There you go. Here's Eminem's. There's what Rex was talking about. Eminem 2013 Rap God video features himself portrayed as Max Headroom. Max Headroom cameos in the pic, in the film Pixels 2015. Mel Brooks. Spaceballs features Pizza the Hut 
robotic subordinate Vinny, a parody of Max Headroom. In Muse's video for the 2017 single, Dig Down, lead vocalist Matt Bellamy appears through a cathoid ray tube television set sets as a parody of Max Headroom. It's all over the place. Yeah, completely miss this one. There's Brian Acuna, another one of Ronald's brothers. Twins, Andy. And there's a Michael Hernandez, another one for John and the Orioles. Pop culture icon, yeah, I guess so. There's Cesar uh, Prieto, 21 out of 199 for John. There's another Christian Vaccaro. And there's Willie Vasquez, 32 out of 299, speckle autograph for Tampa Bay. That's going to be for Ed. Huh. Matt Frewer was pretty famous, Rex is saying, for a while. He was the neighbor in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, played a lead role in Lawnmower Man, and was in Stephen King's The Stand. Jazz Chisholm to 250 for the Fish. That's for Dustin. And the Yankeel Fernandez for the Rockies, Michael P. I don't remember the neighbor of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I remember Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That was pretty great. I don't think, I don't, I don't remember too much of Lawnmower Man. I've heard of Lawnmower Man. I don't think I've ever watched that. And I've never uh, seen a Stephen King's The Stand. Although I've attempted to read it. But there's a lot... A lot. You know, Honey, I Shrunk the Kid, that's a movie. Maybe they have. Maybe I just don't remember it. But Honey, I Shrunk the Kids is a movie that I feel like is ripe for a remake. I'm surprised no one's tried to do that. Just... Update the cast to, to the current stars of the day. And I guess the kids weren't really stars, right? They were just kids, but I mean, so many child actors now are younger actors. They can just put some, uh, put some actor out there to, to do that. Next box. And there, Michael Hernandez again. I, John, with the Orioles, I guess you're starting your Michael Hernandez PC, whether you intended to or not. I mean, we may as well learn about this guy, right? Number 11 Orioles prospect, according to Baseball America. Made his pro debut in the Dominican Summer League, led the team in runs and doubles, finished in third in hits and walks. Lean, angular shortstop with fluid actions. Uh, displays spry first step and powerful arm at shortstop. Projects to have 20 homers or more. Power. Utilize opposite fields often. Signed at 17. Physical comparisons to Carlos Correa.
That's some that's some good that's some good uh, good back of the baseball card stuff there. There's Bryson Stott to two fifty. So now that now that John has a PC working, he's rooting for that guy. There's James Triantos. 93 out of 199 for the Cubs. Eric, EA, it's in the game. And we got a Leonardo Balcazar. Refractor autograph. 291 out of 499 for the Red Legs. Nathaniel picking up the red straight up. Shades of Greatness, Wander Franco for the Rays. Nice insert there. Nick Cannon about has a baseball team. I'm sure Rex will correct that in a second. I don't know what that means. Nick Cannon about has a baseball team. That would be a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good password right there. Put a few numbers there. No one's gonna get that. A little uppercase, lowercase, few numbers. Oh, he recently. Oh, he, okay. I see. Uh, Nick Nick Cannon. I guess if you put just. Let's let's correct this. Nick Cannon. This is what Rex meant to say. Nick Cannon just about has a baseball team. He has his tenth kid. But yeah, probably closer to basketball team. That they usually have about 15 on a roster. Baseball is like 26 man rosters. Come on, Rex. Oh, and there's a Yasser Mercedes for the Twins. And there's Graham Ashcraft. Nathaniel with the Reds. Uh, what do you do? A little Ashcraft here and there? A little Ashcraft? Working with a lot of Ash? There's Jason Morabel. 122 out of 250. There's Brian Acuna. 169 out of 199. Twins, that'll be for Andy. He's the youngest of the Acuna brothers. And there's CJ Rodriguez. That's going to be for Dustin. I know. The, I did see a lot of uh, Yasons, Yason, Jasons. A lot of different ways to spell, spell Jason out there. And there's Won Bin, Won Bin, Che Won Bin from Korea. 
Four five seven out of four ninety nine. That'll be for the Cardinals in coup. All right, the final third of the case coming up. The final four boxes. Good luck, everybody. Now, why is uh, why do I know who Nick Cannon is? I don't know if I really know anything he's done. Like, was there a big movie role that he did? Oh, he was in Drumline? I remember that. He's, I feel like he's just hosted a lot of stuff, but for some... I don't remember it. Any of those, the, his filmography. He was an artist early on, and then an actor a bit, and then Mary. Yeah, that's like, that's kind of how I. The only reason why I know him is like the Mar the Mariah Carey connection. All a lot of his television stuff is credited as himself. Can I be Nick Cannon? I mean, he's re he's hardly done really anything, and yet now he's just hosting a lot of stuff and just on this radio. And... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Was doing Power One Hundred Six for a bit after Big Boy left and Jay Cruz. Word. Right, I, I just need to I just need to land a Mariah Carey to to boost my profile. Hmm. Does it does that mean I have to go out with a Jenner maybe? Don't want to do that. There's James Triantos, 189 out of 250. Right, that's true. He's 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 knocking out a lot of a lot of kids, huh? Guess he's kind of famous for that too. Wow, look at his uh, his relationships and children section. I have never seen anything like this. Let me drop that into the chat. There's like, there's like little, uh, I mean, you'll see it, click the link, but it's like a flow chart, like a family tree kind of flow chart going on here with Mariah Carey, with Brittany Bell, with Abby De La Rosa, with Alyssa Scott, with Brie Tiesi, with Lanisha Cole. That's just too much. With too many different people. Like, how do you keep track? There's Edison Paulino, Boston, Michael P. He's probably not seeing some of these kids, right? Is that the sad truth? There's Anthony Volpe. Nice. 31 out of 75. It is like the Old Testament of the Bible. It could be a little, or like, where, yeah, where, where, uh, where Nick Cannon beget Mora, Monroe Cannon and Morocco Scott Cannon, who beget Golden Sagan Cannon, Powerful Queen Cannon, Rise Messiah Cannon, Zillion Air Cannon, Zion Mixolydian Cannon, beget Beautiful Zeppelin Cannon. That's the best name yet. I don't know if I like the other ones, but Beautiful Zeppelin is 
pretty cool. Zen Cannon, Baby Cannon number 12. Oh, that's due 2022. Oh, sorry, Wander. That's a, that's a lot. I'm, learn, I'm learning a lot today. I learned about Max Headroom. I learned, I'm learning about all in one video. And I'm learning about all of Nick Cannon's kids. Other kids are Legendary Love Cannon. Be, being born June 20, oh, born June 28th. Wait, yeah, there's overlapping, Jason Jaspi. With Brie Tiesi, Legendary Love Cannon was born June 28th, 2022. But Baby Cannon 12 with Alyssa Scott due December 2022. And then... Lanisha Cole, that's all these three kids in 2022. Four kids in 2022. Five? Wait, so Rise Messiah Canyon, born September 23rd, 2022. Beautiful Zeppelin Canyon, born November 11th, 2022. Baby Canyon number 12, do December 2022. These are all different ladies as well. And then with Brie, June 28, 2022, Legendary Love Cannon. And with Lanisha Cole, September 14, 2022. Wow. That is impressive. That's impressive. Ooh, Jordan Alvarez, that's nice too. 2018, 218 out of 299. I mean, how? I mean, that's why he works so much, right? Yeah, he's, Michael P is like, he drive, definitely drives a camera. He's baby broke. That's why he works so much. There's Adrian uh, Placencia, Placencia, three out of twenty-five for the Halos. It's from Michael P. Now there must be constant speculation about who he's. I mean, it's clearly not exclusive to any of these women, right? Chad DeBenny, by the way, gets that Jack Herman autograph. Sorry, Chad. I was just, I'm just stunned about, about the exploits of Nick Cannon. <laughs> should, we, uh, should we donate some vet commons to, to Nick Cannon? the Arizona Fall League relic. I know, our, our $5 Vet Common charity boxes. Maybe, got, maybe one of these months we just got to do it, just Nick Cannon Baby Fund. I'm looking at ages here, and it's like 23 months, 2 months, 17 months, 17 months. 13 days. Oh, one of his kids died. Oh, I remember that. Um, age four months, age two months. You think he's actually changing diapers? Probably not, right? There's Graham Ashcraft, Refractor Autograph, 360 out of 499. You think they all live within a certain prox proximity of each other, maybe?
There's Jordan Lawler, 50 out of 125. Mark with the Diamondbacks. You know, Rex might not be wrong. At the... With these ages, all of these kids could age at the... They're going to age at the same time. They could be all entering... I think they probably... All of them would probably be within a, a year of each other at a certain high school. They could, they could field an like, entire soccer starting 11. There's Joey Gallo to 499, refractor. And there's Braxton Fulford, 82 out of 299. Rockies, that's going to be Michael P. Yeah, Rogers Cromarty Kerm <laughs> had a bunch of kids too. There's Daniel Vasquez to 125. Right, Jason's saying only one of those kids has to be an NFL QB, and he's set. Well, yeah, he, he better have a good relationship with those kids. All right, and we got a Lars Newtbar rookie relic. That's to 150. That's for the Cardinals. That's going to go to Inku. Well, Antonio Cromartie sued his doctor recently at a vasectomy. Still managed to get his wife pregnant. It's just too powerful, I guess. Can't stop it. Yeah, yeah. How many kids did Wilt Chamberlain end up with, considering his uh, his success in the bedroom? Yeah, I guess Wilt Chamberlain was just smart. It was just like, yeah, I'm not gonna be reckless. Good for him. That's true. Will, Will Chamberlain could 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 have been uh, could have been infertile. That's that's a possibility as well. Perhaps he knew that, and it was just like that. That emboldens me. I got a Juan Soto, 170 out of 299. Going to Michael. And there's Jaden Rudd, 61 out of 100. That's, a, that's dark, but yeah, that's a possibility as well. The different times back then. Jaden Rudd, Atomic Autograph for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Oliver. Oliver Soria on the board. There's Adrian again to 50. And there is your... We saw two in the last case, but these generally seem to be falling one per case. Luis Rodriguez. Nice. For the Dodgers. Mark. There's Willie Fanas for the Mets. That'll be for Ed. Oh, 
there's a young kill here. Any parallels? Yeah, Speckle. Drew Baker. 51 out of 299. Wow, Jason said he did six cases and you never got a Fall League relic? I got one in the last case and one in this case. The one, the one in the last case was really cool. It was out of twenty five, and it had a big piece of the like the the logo that they're using for whatever minor league team they're on. Well, here in our last box, I feel like we learned we learned a uh, we learned a lot today. This is what happens when you have like these long hour long breaks. We start deep diving into some stuff. I learn new things. Maybe you learn something new too. Maybe we got some nice hits in your hands tonight. So that, that's how that's how it goes. Oliver, what's going on? How are you? Learning a lot of things, ladies and gentlemen. Learning things. You know, that's what we like to do here. It's not obviously the main priority. Let's fill some breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's bust open some cases. Let's send you some nice hits. But along that journey, if we are to learn a thing or two or reminisce on, on a on all manner of pop culture kind of things, why not? Why not? It's been, no, it's been quite busy actually. I started at five though. I, st I came in later with the intention of staying later. MJ Melendez, it might be future Salvador Perez for John. And Emmanuel Valdez. I uh, got a flight early in the morning, so I'm working a little late. That's for, the, it's for Steven. And there's Albert Pujols, 58 out of 75. And I've got an early morning flight. I'm hoping, Oliver, what do you think? You think there's going to be anything open at the airport? Oh, here's another one, Eddie Cap. Now, I'm going to Cleveland, actually. I'm going to uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm going to go check that out with a friend of mine. I think they'll be, I don't know, I think I'll be there like three or four in the morning. I don't think there's going to be anything. I don't think there's, I, don't, I think there'll be zero TVs with the World Cup on. I don't think any bars are going to be, oh, bars are going to be closed probably. There's Tyler Collins. Guess I'm just watching on a mobile device. Braves, Michael P. Spencer Torkelson. Ryan Reckley to 199. Wes and Wilfred to close things out. All right. Is this does everyone have a sound? Mic check, mic check. I still have sound. All right, the recap. And that Yiddy cap goes to the fish. That goes to Dustin. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate your efforts to fill breaks tonight. 
Got some nice stuff going your way. All right, gang, that's the recap, and that is Pick Your Team 8. I appreciate everyone getting into the action. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.